good shunt on it was the Romanian put in disrupted their ball it was a great scrum from Argentina there's the changes Stewie we've got Popolan coming on Valentin Popolan number 18 for Petro and at the back you've got Florin Vlaikou he replaces number 15 Dimitras having a few numbers issues at line outside and seem to have done their maths now. Creevy with the throw. Novacete the man with the take. Now Fernandez pops the ball up for Rodriguez. Crash ball in midfield. Here's Vergalio. And Roncero with one of his trademark charges downfield, standing a little wider with the loose head prop. Bosch makes some inroads down the right hand side. Second man play now for Argentina. Albacete again, who stayed out wide. And now they go in midfield. Turn it back inside for Luigi Simon. And Tonitza makes a good tackle on him, but now must retreat from the fray. And they will get the penalty. They couldn't resist coming in over the top. Polika Yon was the man. Argentina mixing it up today. Kick over the top. This one for Agulia. And he charges on. One more kick. He's taken down. And he'll come back for the 22 metre restart. Yep. yep. Agulia. He went hunting. That ball could have just set up nicely for him. Good option just to chip it over the top. The pressure is still on. Yeah, another change. Romania. Another change, Stu. We've got number number 22, Juan Impop. Number, he will place 14. Camacho, the right-hand winger. I thought he played well too, the Argentine, number 14. There's the kick there. Nice little... Just hit the space, didn't it? Always dangerous, isn't it, when you let the ball land? And uh, 22, the end result for the Romanians. So Camacho's afternoon comes to a close. Juan Jose Inhoff, the man. We're replacing it. Restart made by Vlaiku, and this one bounces again. He's finding some space now. Argentina, a chance to attack through Amorosino. They'll be wanting to make sure he doesn't get enough width. And here is Leguissimo, who turns it back in for Agulia. Strong charge upfield from the left-hand wing. Fernandez. Teresa in midfield, and it's been lost forward. Tinku comes away with it, gives it to Lazar. Just tipped on. One of the awkward plays, Mark Bovey gets rid of one. They've got numbers wide, if they can use them, Romania. Chance for the wing. And now Daniel Kapo. Now Kazan, the man in 11, scored that try in the first half. Suruju comes back in field. Sakye is the man with ball in hand. Held up off the deck and having to fight his way to ground at the moment. Creevy all over him and all over the ball. Must release the ball now. In fact, players allowed to go on. Creevy may well have got away with that. Logi Simon. They stay on the right-hand side. Fernandez turns it back into Rodriguez. All on the halfway line. Fun or even contest so far in the second spell. Penalty advantage applying. That passes forward, then a knock on, and we'll come back for the penalty. Rocket formed. I thought he was a little bit unlucky there. I think that's uh, Marius Tinkel. And Steve Walsh pulled him up for the ruck had already formed. But he was very quick over the top, and it's one of those hard ones, isn't it, when you have that tackle ball situation. The end result's obviously going to be a penalty to Argentina, who are playing with real width. You mentioned the call width before, Scotty Stevenson, and that's what the Argentines are doing very well today. Well, just have a look here. Here's Rosakia, who goes into contact. Now, if his knee is on the ground, he's a judge to have been tackled, and therefore that ball has to be released by Creevy. Instead, play allowed to go on. And Argentina now have a chance to get themselves well and truly into Romania's half. He was quick, wasn't he, Stu? Over the top, the Romanian captain. Yes, he was, Matthew. Now, that's a good little nudge into that top okay. corner. And that sun right. will not be make the Romanian ha players happy, Matthew, because nice big bombs in the air. Stop. The 
distracted with the sunlight. It was a big crowd, I love it. Never seen so many sunglasses in my life in Invercargill. Normally you've got snow shields. You won't be welcome on D Street this afternoon. Stuart Sinclair Wilson. Cariza with the take. Lovely climate down here in Southland. Creevy now has the ball. He's offered a little bit since he's come on the field as well. Luggedy little player. He loves to get his touches. And he's controlling proceedings from the back of this mall. Galio, the man, just barking instructions, allowing the big boys to do all the work here. Monsero losing his pants. Albacete losing his footing. And at the moment, Romania losing the battle. Here they march on. They are just seven short of the Romanian line. And this will be a heartbreaking moment for Romania if they concede points here. They pride themselves on their forward play, but at the moment they're being taught a lesson in Morley. And they'll set up again here through the captain, Lorbe, who just throws the ball up to Ronsero. 75 minutes for Ronsero last week, and he's having another blinder here, and they've won the penalty, and this one very kickable. That's cynical. And the card is coming out. That's cynical. Yeah. You Mirica Lazar, the man who will spend 10 in the bin. Fortunately, you can crib and shoot a little bit, but when it's so cynical, you have to be sent to the naughty boy's chair, and Lazar, the loose head, is on the chair. Now he's coming right over the top there. It's a ruck. He's diving in over the top, using his hands. I also thought one of the other Romanian forwards, he came in over the top, just walked straight over from an offside position. There were a couple of culprits there, Matthew. Oh, there was, but I was more impressed with the five or ten minutes of Argentina's play there, and I think that's a warning out to Scotland who they'll play in Pool B, Game 3, next Sunday in Wellington, New Zealand. And I just think Argentina are showing very good balance. And certainly the fans that have travelled thousands of miles would agree. Sorry. Wonderful scenes. And the grandstand just basically going off here. We saw a taste of it in Otago Stadium in Argentina's opening clash against England. And we're getting a full noise here at Rugby Park Stadium today. Carpo, the man who's coming to the sideline, Matthew. Absolutely. And great opportunity too, isn't it? Pause. For that little blindside there, Stu. They might take them on and go right through. Well, they're a man down at scrum time. And for Argentina, this is just an open invitation to push over scrum. Well, it's the Argentinians' time to play in the sun. They were under pressure in that first 40 minutes on yes, two, or three, their, two or three of their own scrums. So they've now come back into the game. They've obviously had a talk under the stand at half time. The scrum is better. Los Pumas in the next the second 40. And the heat goes on. Remember, it's eight against seven. Crouch. So they've got one in the chair. Pause. Engage. Again, it's a big weight from Argentina, but the front rows are down. Another penalty advantage applying. And for Galio, milks it for all it's worth. Well, Romania will have to be careful here. They don't concede another card. Absolutely dead right. They're under pressure. They had to throw out the Floriar out there, but he was the prop. Because Lazar, the loose head, is in the, in the sin bin. So a reserve prop goes out there to steady the front row, but it still means that there's seven men playing yeah. eight. Well, Daniel Carpool's on the side, Gentlemen. isn't he? He's, uh, he's sitting down Thank while you. the replacement prop went out there. The number eight for Romania, and the heat's going on from the Argentines. If they drop that scrum one, one more time deliberately, it wouldn't surprise me if Steve Crouch. Welsh is one, would only have one hit. One decision to make, and you'd probably give him a penalty try under the posts. Well, it's heating up the minutes, too, as far as Romania is concerned. Let's go. Argentina well and truly in control of this game. And looking for a knockout blow. His coach Santiago fell on there with his fist in his mouth. Crouch. Not the whole Touch. way. Pause. Engage. 
Here's the feed, and here's the scrum, and this time it's steady from Romania. So far, so good. Argentina looking to get a second weight on. The front rows are up. They must use the ball, and it's Messi at the back too for Campos. Rushing into Linda's weight was Juan Jose Imhoff. Creevy is the man who drives on, just four short of the line. Campos waiting to get his hands back on the ball. Juan Martin Fernandez Lobe is there. Now getting himself involved, bridging the gap. Here's Fregalio away to Fernandez, up to Amorosino, holds the pass up over the line. Romania trying desperately to hold up Emhoff, and they've done so. Wonderful defence from the Oaks, right on their goal line. Look for all the world like that would be a try. But they're not out of danger yet, the Pumas. Trying to fight their way through this Romanian pack, and they're having none of it. Oh, outstanding defence. Absolutely, Stu. That is courageous defence from the Romanian side. They That's have it. driven the Pumas into touch from their own goal line. Thank you. Well, that's courageous, hugely committed. They're one man down in the forward pack. They're defending their line. He was over the line, then they just shunted him back. Oh, that's great defense, you know, and really, when you get defense like that, Scotty, it just comes from the heart. It comes from the ticker. Technique goes out the window. You're just going to do it, put your body on the line. Oh. The smallest bloke on the field, Suruju, was in the thick of that, and no wonder the coaching staff are applauding. There's been a couple of changes for Las Pumas. Number 17, Martin Salso, has come on for Ron Sotero, the Lucid prop for Argentina, and also one of the star players. There he is coming off. Leggy Simon, try scorer. He's been replaced by number 19, Gennario Fisia. Just bear with me, Brownie. Leggy Simon, what a player he is. Had a huge game big influence good impact in the game which is what you want from your Lucy's man down is Figalio 23 year old this is rugby in Montpellier in France in the top 14 I'm just looking for a bit of help one try already for him what a great apprenticeship to serve too when you've got the likes of Mario Ledesma and Hooker and of course Roncero that open side when you're a young tight head prop. Oh, yeah. Nothing better than experience <laughs> around you. Dead right. Rusakye faked, and then Tornitsa got the ball at the back. Romania look to fight their way out of their own danger zone. Goal with the kick, and he will clear into touch. And you have to be impressed. Absolutely. With the courage Romania have shown under pressure here. It was a type of defence and defending of attitude that was just lacking in that first half. They missed 13 tackles in that first half. They've now crept up to 15, so they've missed two in the second half, but they've been on that goal line for virtually eight minutes and defended it remarkably. Captain Marius Tinku was slow to get back to that line out. Argentina with the ball. And Romania will be called upon to make more tackles here. Campos. A strong performance from him and a rare start for the Argentinian side. And they may well have turned the ball over here. They have. And so Romania keep him pressing. Coach has a cuppa. Well, those are the moments, don't you? You look back when when all the, when they start doing the reviews of the, the World Cup tournament. Those are special moments for Romania. How they, on the 56th minute, they held back the Argentine side, the Pumas. And again, here they are, the turnover. Outstanding play, Romania. Almost three-quarter time here at Rugby Park Stadium. 58, 59 minutes gone. Well, it's been a battle in this second half. We saw five tries in that first 40 minutes. Just the one penalty after 59 minutes. Trench warfare. Touch. And two out of three had changed in the Argentinian front row. I, yes, I couldn't call. And the two veterans. Not steady. Ladesma and Roncero off the steady. field. Steve Welsh trying to communicate with the front row. 
Very difficult. Romanian, Argentinian, and an Englishman, in the, or a Kiwi in the middle. Yeah. Communication. Mm, tight. Crouch. Played against seven. Touch. Watch the two.